Alrighty folks, radiator, that's right, we got the radiator off, separated from the condenser, and the condenser also serves as a transmission cooler, that's right, so we got to take those lines off of there, and then I'm trying to, well, I think we're leaning towards a new, what, was it, what did I say that is, high pressure line? right here that one we're gonna experiment with to see where, where where we go with parts on it uh... if nothing else we do have o-rings we have to worry about because everything in the ford service manual says new o-rings new o-rings new o-rings well we'd be stupid not to put new o-rings in it if you're gonna be taking them apart like we are so uh... this is where we're at sort of at an impasse in a way uh, I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup on this uh, whole front radiator housing, condenser housing. I'll wash it up with a brush and soap and water and get her cleaned up and then uh, try not to destroy the sensors in the process. And uh, we're going to go from there. But uh, we're at somewhat of an impasse in a way. As you can see, we've moved the PTU and the transmission over to the soon to go out the door area because we've transferred a lot of stuff to the new transmission. Well it's generally all about the cleaning so take the cross members off, impact sensors laying there on the floor, these little ones right there. Uh, cleaned everything up, wiped it down with soapy water, cleaned it up nice and good, letting it dry. Then the cross member we'll do over here, got a pile of uh, dead parts growing bigger and bigger but just like the other part I'm going to hit this up here with the core seal and uh, get it coated because it's got a little bit of rust showing through on it so we'll preserve that then we'll spray it with that bed liner too so it'll be nice and fresh for the future and be protected and not rust out alright folks 14 Hex goes right here on the bottom of the AC condenser. Yes, and we're going to open up the uh, tube for the dryer and uh, see what's inside. It's all a big surprise, but we did tear it apart. Of course, the yellow oil is uh, the PAG, PAG oil, and then the brown stuff is what was left in the transmission cooler portion of it and I think we broke it when we were trying to tear it apart so anyway lesson learned be gentle on the new one but we're gonna go ahead and uh, open this up and see what's in there see how hard this is oh it just opens right up just a plastic bunghole am I allowed to say bunghole about as risque as Mac T gets yeah What's in there? It's like Christmas. Might be spring loaded. Watch your. Ching! <laughs> nah, I doubt it's spring loaded. Um, Ooh. There's screen. There's the screen. And it's probably got all sorts of garbage in there. And actually, so. I think this comes out, right? Does it? We had another plug, spare plug. It didn't have a screen on it. Yeah, I don't know. It's locked in, though. Maybe you gotta get another spring. Your screen. Maybe the plug's just different. There's something down in there. We're gonna dump it out. Under the paper towel, maybe. Well, I thought you said there's something in there. It is. You gotta have a needle nose to reach it, though. Something. There's a little bag of something in there. We gotta have a long forceps to get it out. Let us find the proper tool, which is whatever we can find that'll reach down in there. We're gonna try a pick. We're not having any luck. Now we're gonna reach something in here and try to grab this out of here because there's a bag in there that uh, we want to yank out, but getting it out is proving to be on the difficult side.
see it? Yeah, we bang it. Can't help. Doesn't want to come out. Isn't it? Looks like it. As it turns out. Pull it the other yeah, way. maybe I can get my get the needle nose on it. There we go. There we go. That's it, folks. And look how dirty it is on the bottom. It's clean up top, though. But all it is is this bag of desiccant. It's all that's in there. Now you know. That's your well, folks, as it goes, uh, I had a lot of grand plans for this weekend with Jeff, but uh, it seems we're running into a parts supply issue here uh, that is starting to hold us up. So uh, I'm hoping within two more weekends we have the parts and then we can start putting that engine in there. But until then, uh, we're just basically on cleanup detail, which uh, you probably saw in some other videos here before this. But uh, yeah, that's where we're at. So hopefully parts come in this week. Uh, we're waiting for that AC compressor for sure. That's been a pain. It's been on second reorder. So, you know, if we can't get the parts, we can't complete the job. That's really what it comes down to. In this day and age, parts are hard to find. So, hey. We'll keep you updated on it, but if nothing else, like, subscribe, join, yes, follow this series. And also, uh, my feet hit the floor today. I'm having a great day, and I want you to have a great day, too. Uh, Band of One's always got some great music. Mercy Girl, who is ever not present. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Mercy Girl. Anyway, she's got a couple one-liners for y'all. Thank you for watching MacT's videos and remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Go production.